Welcome to Global Tech Code channel. In this channel, we are seeing a lot of coding explanation. Today, we are going to see a super project that is how to create code editor using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Before starting this video, if you are a new user, please subscribe this channel and click bell icon. First of all, code editor means if you need to edit your HTML, CSS, JavaScript code in a online or any desktop app, it will give the result directly. So like uh, for example, JS Fiddle is a code editor. Here I am giving the um, HTML code and I can see the result uh, here. So uh, this is a code editor. Also in W3 school, uh, we can check the code directly um, after editing that code. Likewise, we can create this code editor in our local using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Shall we see that? First of all, you have to open our text editor like um, Sublime Text or any other HTML text editor. So I have opened my supply time text editor here i have created one html file editor1.html I, I gave some tags basic tags inside a body now we have to give a one big part here you need to give class name you can give whatever name Div, you have to um, declare a three text area for editing the code. First of all, I'm using I'm creating for HTML area. So you will give ID and also length. You can set a length and width for this using rows and column tag elements. So I'm using uh, rows and column tags here. So also I need to create a CSS and um, JavaScript area. So I'm copy that code and paste it here. Just I'm changing the name for CSS area and script area. Okay, now I created a part for input one, right? Then how to display output? We are go we are using now we are going to use iframe for giving the result. So again I am using div and class and give one name. and I declare the iframe and giving the id for iframe also need to set a width and height for frame right as per your wish you can change the width and height I completed the design part okay now we can check the design part is how displaying so I used a uh, background is gray color so it's displaying in gray color and two text area I already given and one iframe is displaying here now we are going to write a function for this uh, design so uh, I'm I'm using script Inside the script, I am going to write function. Um, whatever the name you can give, you, as per you, you can give a name. I am using I. I give run. Inside that, we have to um, 
give the value for this three areas. Yes, using this code, I am getting the value for uh, three areas. Okay, dog one dot voice actor of this is a class name and this one is ID for the text area. So also, I am getting the output uh, frame value. Here, I don't need a value. I just want, I just need an object. So, I have to set that uh, in HTML for that object. Using this code, we can uh, set the value. I am in a HTML. I am replacing this HTML code and CSS code embedded. And also in content window, I am in, uh, replacing this, this script code. So now it will act as here. Yeah, uh, it will include it as a HTML code inside that uh, window and content document. We write a functions, but we need to handle this function, right? So we need to call this function inside the even listener. So uh, for our text area, for three text area, I'm adding even listener key function during the uh, type during typing your content, it will call a runoff function. Okay. Uh, so here I'm giving this uh, class name and editor ID, text area ID. Then uh, function is key. I'm calling. I mean, during the key of action, it will call run method. Let's see will, how it will uh, work. Here, first one is here. We can give value. So it's a uh, uh, lively give the result to us. Also, we can give CSS. Uh, I'm giving color. I'm changing the color of this text. So it's changing, right? And I can give a alert also for using the JavaScript. So it's displaying alert for me. So it's changing the code lively. This is the code editor. As for, I mean, um, like w 3 school and JS model, we can use button here. Uh, shall we see how to add button here? Here, um, after the gym class, I need, I, I'm thinking I can add here. So, if you wish, you can add anywhere. So, I'm just adding the button tag and uh, class name. I assigned ID for that and uh, I'm calling the runoff function during the unclick function action. So uh, it will, if I click button, it will act. What are the style you need for this button? You can add, I mean, it may be with cursor point, margin, anything else. So let's see how to work. Now, this is not needed, right? Yeah, now this button is displaying. So, if I change, if I give any HTML code here, it will give the result. Sorry, gray, already in gray, so. Yeah, blue. So it's, it's uh, displaying like this. So I can add JavaScript also. I'm giving alert. So it's displaying alert for me. So you can use button and also um, if, I, if you are typing the code, then it will display the result. You can write a code like that itself. Yeah, I'm giving this sample code in a GitHub. So I gave this, that URL in description. If you need to refer, you can use it. 
I hope this video is really useful to you and don't forget to subscribe and click bell icon. Thanks for watching.